was CJ Grace with another Photoshop tutorial, this one on how to design your video thumbnail. Not certain what a video thumbnail is? Well, I'll show you and explain it. The images you see here are my, are my video thumbnails. Thumbnails are like many poster advertisements for your videos. Make an interesting thumbnail that pertains to your video and something interesting enough that makes people want to check out your video. Creating a channel icon, channel art, and video thumbnail is just part of the process of optimizing your YouTube channel. Your channel is like your online store. So by having this artwork, it's like setting up your online store. You want to make it visually appealing to draw in viewers and subscribers, and hopefully lots of them. YouTube refers to this as branding, and it makes you look professional. I'll explain the importance of branding in more detail on my website and possibly another video, but for now I'm going to show you how to design your thumbnail. Now if you've noticed the different designs I had on my thumbnails, don't freak out. I'll only stick with one design for now, one color, uh, only a couple images, and of course text, it's something that's easy. Then I'll show you how to create the starburst design, like this right here in another video. There are a number of different ways you can design your thumbnail, but like I said, I'll just keep it simple in this first tutorial. So now, let's say your YouTube channel is about auto repair, and the particular video is about diagnosing and repairing brake lights and backup lights. So, for this thumbnail, I'm going to use a solid color. So when I have Photoshop open, before I begin a new project, I'm going to choose my solid color. I'll choose green, but you're free to choose any color you want. So click OK once you have your color chosen. Now go to File, New. Now I'll name my project Spell it right, Brake Light Repair. Now it's time to choose the size, which will be 800 by 600 pixels. That will be the size of your thumbnail. So your thumbnail size is 800 by 600 pixels, so go ahead now and click OK. And there's your new project window. Now you'll want to add a title. And I'll type in First, I need to check the font size. I have the uh, type font, a uh, type of font that I want to use, so I'll stick with that. And the color of the font will be green, uh, um, white. I can leave it as that. So I'm going to type in diagnosing and. repairing brake lights. Next, I'll choose a couple images I want in my design. So I've already got them chosen, and if you've seen any of my other Photoshop tutorials, I always tell you never work with the original file. Always make a copy of the original file in case you mess up by right clicking and then clicking on duplicate and then click OK. I'm going to cancel though because these are already copies and you can see that right up here where it says copy so that's already copied. So now I'll select my move tool, hold my left mouse button down over the image and drag it into my new project. Now I'm going to maximize that window And I'll go up here to Edit, scroll down to Transform, and then Scale. And while holding the left mouse button down, I'll just keep dragging to a size that I feel that I'm comfortable with, a size that I like.
and I'll just go ahead keep it like that and hit enter to to choose that now I have another image I'm going to add so I've got my move tool selected drag the image over into the new document now I've got to resize that so I maximize my window again go to edit transform scale drag down until I see the corner and hold down drag and hold down hit enter you just keep dragging to a size that you feel looks good or that you're comfortable with now considering what type of camera you will uh, you have will depend on the amount of resizing you have to do my pics are HD which are large files so uh, I have uh, many times a lot of resizing to do now one thing I failed to mention in my other Photoshop tutorials is that when you have more than one image those images including the text is referred to as layers in Photoshop. So when you want to move, edit, or delete a layer, you'll have to make sure that the particular layer is selected, and this is how you select the layer or image you want to edit. Right over here on the right is the Layers palette. This is where you click on a particular layer to select it. Now if you're uncertain which layer it is that you want to edit, see these little eye icons and these little boxes go ahead and click on that so you're certain that that will be the image you want to edit like say I'm looking for the text and I'm not familiar with the program well I am familiar with the program but I'm pretending I'm not for this tutorial but say I'm not familiar with the program so I don't know uh, which layer is which. Now of course text is pretty uh, easy to see you know which image it is you want to work with so you just click right on that and now uh, your text is selected so you can move that around but if you're not certain which picture it is that you want to edit click on that eye icon and then you'll know for certain which image it is that you want to edit so if that's the image you want to edit, go ahead and click on that. I see I just got myself confused. Okay, there. Now click on layer 1. So now layer 1, you can re you can uh, edit that now. So I'll go down here up here to edit, transform scale. I'll just enlarge that a little bit. Oh, I see. I have a green background on here. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to get my little magic wand tool over here. And of course it's not doing it now, so... Alright, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. So get my magic wand tool, hit delete. Control D. Now I'll select layer 1. Hit delete. Control D to deselect it. Another way to deselect it is by going up here to select in the menus bar and then click on deselect. I use the, uh, I'm used to using the keyboard shortcuts so that's why I did that. So now I need to uh, select layer 2 again so I get my move tool, drag it over here. I see sometimes you still get things like this in the way so I'll get that magic wand tool and delete that deselect that and then move it back to where I want to move it so like that so now um, I want to resize my text so it's more visible so I'll go over here and select text in the layers palette go up here to edit transform scale like I said just to uh, you know whatever's your liking then go ahead and hit enter to select that function now notice that the text is behind the images so if you want the text on top of the images 
the text layer is selected, hold down your left mouse button and drag that right on top of image 2. Doesn't do it right away, just keep doing it till you got it. There you go. Now, I want my text to pop out a little more and there are a number of things that you can do. You can see where this little circle is with the fancy F in it. That's the add a layer style function. So click on that and then add something like a drop shadow. Then you can add bevel and emboss and what that does is it makes your text pop out a little more so that it you know draws attention which is which we want what we want to do it's a thumbnail and that's exactly what we want to do with our thumbnail so go ahead and click OK. Now there's a number of other functions uh, in the color styles that you can do with your text also and I know what kind of uh, function I want to use but this is just um, you know to show you what what different styles they have what different styles you can work with. I already know what style I want to use, but again, I keep on showing these in my videos so that people don't forget. So I'm going to add the chrome style. Then I'm going to go down here and add a layer style, click on stroke or which or outline. And when you do that, uh, this function just the way I did it, click stroke first or choose the stroke function first, it allows you to choose your color which brings up this color picker window. Um, and there are a number of um, different colors that you can choose. I think I'll go with something like that. That kind of looks kind of interesting but I really want to bring bring it out. So for this tutorial I'll just go ahead and go with that color so click OK and then go over here and click OK and that's how you make your thumbnail. So that's just a basic way of making a thumbnail but still it uh, uh, it will grab people's attention. You've got a light here, you've got wires here, uh, broken wires, and that'll sort of tell people something about what it's about. And of course, diagnosing and repairing brake lights, you've got the text that's popping out. And so now you're going to want to save it. And I save mine, save as uh, a, a PSD, uh, which is a Photoshop file. But I'm not going to do that because I already did it. So uh, always make sure to save the, the PSD file in your Photoshop file so in case you need to you know do something different later on but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and then if you want to save it for web you go over here and save for web for uploading to YouTube now notice that Photoshop already has something selected for me and of course it's in JPEG I have a JPEG high quality and um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and stick with this and click on save. And click on save so you click it into whichever particular folder you want to save it for. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because as you can see here I already made my thumbnail for this video. So I'll go ahead and cancel that and cancel this. Now you'll need to know how to upload it to YouTube which, by the way, you can upload your thumbnail to YouTube while you are not going to actually upload it, but I want to show you how to do it. So go back here to edit. So now let's say you're uploading uh, your video right now. While you're uploading your video, you can go ahead and choose all these functions and I'll talk more about the title and the description in the next video but for right now I want to show you how to upload your thumbnail while you are uploading your uh, video um, you have the option of uploading your thumbnail at the same time now if you don't have your thumbnail YouTube will automatically select a thumbnail for you or you can choose one of the three options that you have or upload the, the custom uh, thumbnail that you designed and you can do this all while you are uploading 
your video to YouTube. So that's how you make just a basic thumbnail. It looks pretty good to me for being basic. Um, but go ahead and play around with the program. That's the best way to get to learn a program. Uh, click every function to see what does what. Play around with the text. Play around with images. And um, later on, I'll get into my my real Photoshop tutorials. These are only tutorials in Photoshop to show you how to make your uh, artwork for YouTube. Um, anyway, I hope that I hope this video helped you. And uh, if it did, please share it with someone else who you know might benefit from this. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. I'm CJ Grace. Thanks for watching.